Come on boys, welcome everybody back to another video. Now this is a new mini series with this new showdown promo. I have got absolutely not enough coins. We recently sent my club for the 92 plus and we got a first owner prime on Aldinio, which I'm stoked with. But we've got no coins in folded left, so instead of me having no content to do over this promo, we are going to intru introduce something where when, when there's a showdown, I'm going to show you guys the SBC and I'm going to go over it and go in depth on who I'd choose. If I had to pick one, who I would choose. So lads, welcome everybody. Everybody to showdown Richarlison versus showdown Veghorst. You can complete both if you want, but if you want a new Premier League striker, which one do I think you should choose? Now you head on over to the showdown series and you have a look at uh, the, the requirements. Now they are both going to be a very similar price. Richarlison is one Brazilian player, one team of a week and an 85 rated squad. He's also a Premier League player and an 87 rated squad, whereas Veghorst is around, I think, a similar 85 and a team of a week with a Dutch player and an 87 and a Premier League. So they will be very, very close or within five to 10,000 coins of each other. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe around 180 to 200,000 coins for whichever card you want. Now, if we go ahead and look at the in-games, now we could do a point system and compare them by points if you want, but in my opinion, lads, you can just look at the cards and straight away you can see which one is significantly better when you look at these stats. And Vig, that is Veghorst. But there is something I want to touch on. That is a reason why I think EA have given vehicles for better stats. Now, number one, Richarlison has got that five-star weak foot, which people underestimate so, so much. But then you go ahead and you have a look, and he's got 94 shot power. And similar to Cristiano Ronaldo Gold, if you guys have used Cristiano Ronaldo Gold, he's got four-star weak foot, but sometimes you could swear that left foot feels like a five-star weak foot because of how powerful and how good his shooting is and his shot power. It feels just as good on his left as it does on his right. So there's always that. Um, but all in all, if you compare the pace, they're the exact same. If you compare the shooting, Vikos has got four extra shooting over Richarlison. Vikos has also got five extra passing, which may be a little bit unnecessary for a striker, but I can tell you what, if you're playing a two-striker formation, that 96 short passing on Vikos is going to be amazing. Richarlison has got one better dribbling, and I can tell you as well, you look at it, and I've got, I mean, very similar agility and balance. Vikos has actually got more uh, agility than him, but then you look at it in game dribbling of 90 free. Um, Vikos is 94 ball control, a lot better composure. So honestly, although Richarlison's got a plus one over dribbling, you could easily debate that Vikos has the actual better in-game, more important dribbling stats. Then you look at the uh, the physical and Vikos once again dominating him heavily in that area, as well with 99 hitting accuracy. Now Vikos has got the power header trait as well. He is 6 foot 6, 99 hitting, power header trait. Dude, uh, he, he'll, he'll score a lot of headers for you. Um, Richarlison has got the flair. He's also got the power header trait. Honestly, you look at these cards, and I think Vikos dominates him in everything. But why do I think Richarlison is still very good? It's because, as I said, that five-star weak foot will be one very, very clutch. As well, I prefer high medium work rates compared to high high. And another point, I do think Richarlison is going to be more likely to get that plus two than Vikos. Now, we're going to head on over to the screen here and we're going to go to the Premier League. I'll show you guys uh, the Everton game. I think we'll just search Everton instead. They are playing away. Burnley are playing at home but if you have a look at the odds from I believe Sky Sport, it is actually in Burnley's favour which may be surprising. I think it's, it's quite an even match but I do think you look at the table, Everton are not a 17th place team. I mean, they are this year. They're absolutely woeful this year. But you look at it, and you're like, bro, they've got games in hand. They've played one less game than uh, Van Burnley. They're four points ahead. Sure, they're playing away. They've got a very strong fan base, so I can actually see Everton getting the win. And if I had to choose, I would actually say I think Everton will get the win. But all in all, boys, they're coming in at the same price. And I just got to say... V course looks for a better value card. Um, but now, one other thing I do want to mention though. Now, you have a look at Richarlison's body type. Now, I've not seen him yet. He's got the lean body type. And I feel like that's going to make him... That, that, that's going to be very important in game. Five foot, uh, five foot 11 and the lean body type is going to be so effective, especially with that uh, five-star weak foot. Then you go over and have a look at Vikors, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, then you go over to Vikors, right, and he's got the high and average body type along with six foot six. Although he's got great agility, although he's got great balance, he is going to feel very heavy on the turn. You're going to give a ball, he's going to be heavy. If you guys have used any version of Socrates, he'll be very similar to Socrates in that sense. So I do think Richarlison has the more meta, quote-unquote meta, 
meter stats when it comes to body type, height, and the five star weak foot. But I do think V Course looks a much funner card. I think Richarlison, as I said, might just edge it. I think he might. I think Everton are just the favourites. Um, but then again, lads, let me know what you guys think. If I had to choose one card out of these two, honestly, I'd have to choose V Course. Personally, I'm doing Richarlison because he fits my team like an absolute gem. Um, and he gets Tiago to full chem. But if I had to choose, boys, the winner today is going to be V Course.